Understanding Convertible Notes, a Guide for Investors In the complex world of startup financing, several funding mechanisms offer a range of opportunities to potential investors. One such instrument is the convertible note. This investment tool is quite popular among early-stage startups and angel investors. Understanding the nature, benefits, risks, and mechanisms of convertible notes is essential for any investor planning to dive into the startup ecosystem. In this video, we will explore convertible notes in detail, with practical examples to clarify the concept. What are convertible notes? Convertible notes are a form of short-term debt that converts into equity, typically following the conclusion of a future financing round. In simpler terms, instead of getting your investment back with interest, as a typical loan functions, you get shares in the company. These financial instruments are usually used during seed or early stage rounds when the company's valuation may not be straightforward or might be too costly to evaluate. Convertible notes allow companies to delay setting a valuation while providing the necessary funds for the company's early stage growth. Key components of a convertible note A convertible note agreement includes several key terms. Principal amount This is the original sum of money the investor loans to the startup. Interest rate This is the interest that accumulates over time on the unpaid principal. While the note is technically debt, the interest doesn't need to be paid back in cash, but instead increases the number of shares the note converts into. Maturity date. The date when the note is due. If the startup has not raised a priced round by the maturity date, the investor could technically demand repayment or negotiate to convert the notes into shares. Conversion discount. This gives early investors a discount on shares when the note converts, rewarding them for their early support. Valuation cap. This is a preset limit on the valuation at which the notes will convert into equity, protecting the early investors from dilution in the event of a high valuation later funding round. An example of a convertible note. To understand the operation of convertible notes better, let's consider an example, say investor A provides a startup with a $100,000 convertible note. That has a 20% conversion discount and a $5 million valuation cap. The note has an interest rate of 5% and the company then raises a series of funding round at a $10 million pre-money valuation one year later. When the note converts, first the accrued interest is added to the principal. With a 5% interest rate, the amount to convert is $105,000. Because the Series A valuation exceeds the valuation cap, the note converts at the cap of $5 million, not the $10 million valuation. Now, because of the 20% discount, investor A effectively gets to invest at an 80% multiplied by $5 million equals $4 million valuation. Therefore, for the $105,000 investment, Investor A receives a 105,000 divided by 4 million equals 2.625% stake in the company, instead of the 1.05% he would have gotten without the conversion cap and discount. Benefits of Convertible Notes Simplicity and Speed Convertible notes are generally quicker and simpler to issue than equity, mainly because they avoid the need for a company valuation. Early Entry For investors, convertible notes can provide an early entry point into a promising startup at a discounted price. Potential Returns If the company does well, the conversion of debt to equity can offer significant returns. Risks of Convertible Notes Risk of Failure Like all startup investments, there is a risk that the company may fail. If this happens, despite technically being debt, convertible notes usually won't have assets to pay back the investment because they are often unsecured. Conversion Uncertainty There's also a risk associated with the terms of conversion. If the startup's future valuation is lower than expected, or if it takes longer to raise a subsequent funding round, it can affect the eventual equity the investor receives. 
lack of control. Convertible note holders typically do not have voting rights or board seats. Therefore, they lack direct control over the startup's operations or strategic decisions. Risk of dilution There is also the risk of dilution if the startup raises additional funding. While a valuation cap can protect against this, it does not eliminate the risk. How investors can mitigate risks while the risks associated with convertible notes cannot be completely eliminated, they can be mitigated. Diversification is a key strategy that applies equally to convertible note investments. Spreading your investments across various startups can help balance the risk. Due diligence is another critical factor. Before investing, thoroughly vet the startup's team, business model, market potential, and competition to assess its prospects. Furthermore, make sure to understand the terms of the note. The interest rate, conversion discount, valuation cap, and maturity date can all significantly impact your return on investment. If you are unsure about any aspects of the deal, seek advice from a financial advisor or attorney. Convertible notes offer a unique blend of debt and equity characteristics that can be appealing for both startups seeking funding and investors looking to capitalize on early-stage companies. They offer a simple, quick, and potentially lucrative investment method. However, as with all investment decisions, it's crucial to fully understand the terms and the risks involved. Investing in startups through convertible notes can provide significant returns, but it's not without risk. Therefore, ensure you have done your due diligence and that you're comfortable with the potential outcomes of your investment. It's important to remember that investing in startups should be a part of your broader investment strategy, which includes a diversified portfolio across various asset classes and investment instruments. With the right approach and mindset, convertible notes can be a powerful tool in your investment arsenal.